Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today for our devotion. This morning, we're going to read from Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, for these moments with our Good Shepherd. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Worry. It seems to be the great human pastime. To quote Charlie Brown of the Peanuts comic strip, I have worries. Even my worries have worries. Worry and concern are not synonyms. Concern is thinking about the things we can control. Worry is thinking about the things we can't control. It is impossible to stop worrying if our attention is riveted on the problems and predicaments of life. Worry is really unbelief, although we don't usually think of it that way. Worry is doubting God's power, his love, his plan, his knowledge of what's best for us. It's not fearing, loving, and trusting God above all things as the small catechism of Martin Luther explains. But a wonder of God's love is that he teaches us how much greater he is than the worrisome circumstances we face daily. He assures us that he is in control of all things. He is the almighty, all-knowing God who knows our every need and is capable of fulfilling them. He took away our greatest worry, didn't he? He freed us from the damnation we deserved as sinners. He lavished his love on us by giving us life with him that will last forever. So our Heavenly Father, who loved us so much to send Jesus to be our Savior, promises to provide for our life and protect us from danger. Turn your attention to Jesus. He tells us that our Heavenly Father knows our needs and will supply them. You won't fall through the cracks. Turn your inclination to worry into prayer. Thankful for his saving love, we can turn from our inclination to worry and turn to him with our concerns and burdens. After all, we can't do anything to solve our worries, but God can and does. We pray. Teach me, Lord, not to worry. Remind me of your great love and power that I can trust at all times, especially in times of need. Amen. Well, everyone, don't worry. God's got this.